and even we get tired. So what's the goal for today? Yes. Good, let's do that. We, oh, uh, that sounds amazing. The idea is that um, we have the aluminium um, part for the um, test engine's injector. And we are trying to drill uh, lot, uh, oxidizer and fuel holes at an angle. Good. And hence why the head is called twisted up. Fantastic. Um, we have not tried this specific operation on this machine before, especially not combined with the rotary table. So before we tear into the workpiece, what we have prepared for the past three -ish months, mm -hmm. We, we would have very much liked to see that the code actually performs as it's, it's supposed to and we didn't forget any unwanted um, instructions in there. So we turned up this, um, I think it's nylon. But it, it's on, on, yeah, it's some mystery plastic. Yeah, yeah. Scrap it. We turned this up to uh, have the same dimensions as the aluminium cap under it. So we can actually run the same code just offset with the height difference. Mm -hmm and see if we are satisfied with the results. Um, what we are trying to do now is we are warming up uh, the high-speed spindle here, which has a separate uh, uh, axis, mm -hmm. and moving it into and out of the material. The, the nice waterfall sounds are from a bucket on the backside of the... Which you didn't put a pipe all the way to the bottom on the return? Yeah. No? Okay. No. This is just constant. It, it, at least you know it's on. Yeah, it's on. In any case, um, the cooling water is running in that now uh, through the through the spindle, and then uh, once uh, Scott deems it uh, ready for operation, then we can uh, we can uh, try to drill the fuel holes first because the angle now is set to um, match with what the fuel holes. Do. In the meantime, we will dial in the top surface to see if it's actually level or we have it wonky because it was a. Uh, Five minute job. That's done. We are within two tenths in both directions. Amazing. So the problem is if you if you don't get it uh, fairly level, yeah. Then uh, then what will happen is when you are drilling into it, on one side uh, the the holes will appear very lopsided. So it will be way deeper on the tall point than it is on the on the low point. That makes sense. And then uh, that kind of destroys the purpose of drilling into a test piece and see how it turns out because you can see if you yeah. actually... No, I, I get that completely. So, I mean, so we just done the uh, final pass of the drilling yeah. experiment on the fuel side. Happy so far? Yeah. Yeah. I, think, uh, I, think, I mean, uh, the script performed exactly as you yeah. hoped it would. And uh, the. the yes, so. yes. And then the zeroing procedure was also uh, performing well. So, I think, uh, I think uh, all expectations are met. I'll just get you. Fantastic. Okay, I mean, yeah, I guess um, come back next time to see us uh, do the same thing again, but with the, the oxygen side. side. Yeah, this will be a, a four-part saga, I suspect.
This video is sponsored by Brilliant, the interactive learning platform that helps you become a better thinker and problem solver. Brilliant offered thousands of hands-on lessons in math, science, programming, and much more. At Copenhagen Suborbitals, these subjects are at the heart of what we do. We use math every time we calculate rocket trajectories and aerodynamics. We rely on science to understand combustion, propulsion, and the materials that have to survive the extreme condition of the launch. And we depend on programming and data analysts to help guide our rockets through flight. These are the very same topics that you can explore on Brilliant through interactive challenges that let you learn by doing instead of just watching. It's a great way to build the exact problem-solving mindset we use in our own project. To learn for free on Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash Copenhagen Suborbital, scan the QR code on screen, or click the link in the description. Brilliant also offers our viewers a 20% off an annual premium subscription, which gives you unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant.